What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another long awaited video. Today we're going to be talking about the Lenovo Explorer Mixed Reality Headset. Now I know it has been a long time since I was going to make a video about the Mixed Reality Headsets that I have not reviewed yet. And it's been about two months since my last video, which was the Deepon E3 headset. And before we go ahead and unbox it and talk about the channel updates and what's going on and what kind of videos I have coming up in this channel and what kind of content I have planned for this channel, let's talk about what's going on with this headset right now at this moment. This headset and system is currently on a price point that you could not imagine existing. It is currently on sale for the past two days in North America, Canada and the US for 200 US dollars or 250 Canadian. It is a price point that you could not miss out. But first, let's go ahead, check it out, see what it's like and uh, point out a few things that may sway your decision. Anyways. Let's go ahead, unbox it, and then we'll get to talk about what I have planned for this channel. And yes, a phase reveal is in the works, and I have a ton of things planned for this channel, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. So first things first, compared to the Samsung Odyssey and the HP headset that we have taken a look at before, the box here is already much more pleasing to look at. It's much nicer, it has a lot of color, a lot of pictures, and uh, it is something that will definitely get you pumped out about the headset just before you open it up. We got pictures, we got information, what's inside the box and all the good stuff. But what's gonna matter is what's on the inside because if you guys remember, both HP and Samsung's boxes on the inside were kind of just empty. The headsets were kind of just thrown in there and there wasn't much packaging on the inside or much to look at. So here we have a much better presentation already on top of the outer looks and uh, it's all exciting. So yeah, let's take a look here. We got some information, a quick starter's guide. And it seems like we got a nice, heavy, thick user's guide right here, microfiber cloth, some more information that you're not going to need, the controllers, we're going to take a look at in just a bit, and yes, these are different from the Samsung, the headset itself, which already feels much nicer than other headsets that I've taken a look at, and finally, of course, the batteries for the controllers. Here's what it looks like on the inside of the box, again, it is much nicely packed than we have seen on other mixed reality headsets. So right off the bat, I already applaud Anovo for this awesome packaging. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look inside and see what we have here. Here's the first controller, the second controller, and finally, the headset itself. So first off, uh, it does feel much more premium than on the other headsets that I've taken a look at. Overall, it feels like there's something inside of here and it's not just a whole bunch of plastic. And of course, this headset should be able to uh, flip up, which is something that I haven't taken a look at just yet. So first of all, this headset out of the box definitely feels like a premium headset, even though the price point currently does not reflect that because it's so cheap. The build quality and overall feel of this thing out of the box definitely feels pretty great. And I can definitely tell you that this is going to be a really good headset, just like many people have suggested, especially Sebastian on Mixed Rally TV. He absolutely loves this headset along with the Dell Visor for a budget option. If you can't afford the Samsung Odyssey or any other headset, these are great alternatives but we're going to see how this performs. A quick look at the front here is what it looks like. It looks pretty great, very minimalistic, and personally, it definitely gives me some ThinkPad vibes. Now here's the visor, it does flip up, and it doesn't seem like it's gonna fall down very easily, just like the HP headset. They might have fixed that, but if you guys remember in the original HP Mixed Rally headset, the dev kit specifically, the visor would simply snap back down because it was so heavy, if you wiggle it like so. The padding here looks pretty great, and I gotta say, it does feel very comfortable. It might be memory foam, and it is washable because it is Velcroed on there. And we got the same material one over here too that's also velcroed on and on the front here we got a face pad that is made up of three different layers but the top layer definitely feels pretty awesome it feels like a microfiber cloth it's very soft very nice to the touch and it's definitely going to provide tons of cushioning now something you can notice here is that there's a ton of face room so you should fit glasses very easily here and overall your face shouldn't have an issue with the stuff on the inside i feel like this thing is going to be more breathable than other headsets but we're going to find out very soon but something that you got to keep in mind is that this thing does not have any ipd or focus adjustments and that's going to be a major issue for some people because if you're someone who doesn't have an average ipd of around 64 or 65 then you may encounter issues with the headset. If your IPD is not close to these numbers, then you may encounter some major issues and it may ruin your whole experience. Now, for someone who wears glasses, then you may encounter issues with the focus, but you may not because if these glasses can fit perfectly in here, then you should be good to go. So I have two different glasses. One of them is really wide, one of them is kind of thick, and we'll be trying both of them out and see how they perform and how they feel with this headset on. But other than that, there's actually nothing much to talk about here. We got the back band right here that feels pretty nice and it does have some very nice clean clicks. The clicks here remind me of the Vive Deluxe Audio Strap. Over here we have the headset jack for your headset. So we're going to be trying out different headsets and seeing which one performs the best with this type. And finally, we have the two-in-one cable. We have the HDMI and the USB because Mixed Rally is pretty awesome. Not only it is super portable and self-contained, but you can also enjoy VR on a low-end system. And I have made a video comparing modern low-end hardware 
with the Mixed Reality platform. And it was pretty amazing how low it can go and run Mixed Reality slash Steam VR. Because the Mixed Reality platform does scale down things to run on your PC. So you can actually choose the graphic settings and be able to run VR even though you may have an old or a new low-end system. So if you want to check that video out, you can check it out. I'll leave links in the description below and probably right over here. And finally, here are the controllers, which I gotta say feel really good. In my opinion, I might actually enjoy these more than the Samsung's controllers, which were kind of awkward to hold. But who knows, we'll find out how these perform. Uh, definitely feels pretty good. The clicks and everything feels pretty nice. And overall, uh, I might enjoy this more than the Samsung's, but we'll see in the next video on what I think of these. Got a nice Lenovo logo right here, and that's pretty much it. And now all I have to do is to go ahead, try this thing out, let you guys know what it feels like and how it performs, and if it's worth the $250. So with that, I'll see you guys in just a bit. Alright guys, so I've just finished quickly testing out the headset for about half an hour because I want to get this video out as soon as possible so you guys can get a hold of this deal because this is something that you will not see for a while. Who knows, maybe we will, maybe we will not, but either way, you just simply cannot miss out on this deal. If you've been holding out for a VR headset and you've been wanting a VR headset but you just couldn't afford it, now is the time to get one if this is your first headset. Again, I'm just going to go over the highlights and what I think about it and if you should get it. So first question, is this thing worth it? Then yes, absolutely, go ahead and get this thing if it's your first VR headset and if your IPD is close enough to 64. If it doesn't work out, then you can always return it. But yes, it is absolutely worth getting this headset. So one of the first things that stood out to me when I had this headset on was that the comfort level was actually pretty great and I haven't had actually much issues with it when it came to comfort. Everything was nice and snug on my head and I haven't had any problems when it came to mounting. I haven't had much problems when putting the visor up. Everything worked as intended, and I absolutely love that about this headset. It was very easy to put the visor up and down, and especially when you have it down, you can actually push it up against your face and you won't have any light leaks. And overall, it just sits nice and snug, which is something I haven't experienced in the HP headset, because on that one, I found the mounting system a bit clunky. The back tightening system was actually pretty great as well. It worked as intended. The headset was definitely breathable and it worked perfectly fine with both type of glasses. I had the, this one is pretty wide. I think it was like 182 millimeters wide and they both worked perfectly fine with this headset. Now, of course, the tracking works perfectly fine now. It has been refined and improved, and it's going to work no problems. I had the lights on and the lights off, and it tracked just as well. And just as I thought, the controls actually felt pretty great. They were very nice to work with. Overall, the touchpad is pretty premium. It does feel pretty high quality. I think these definitely feel much better than the one on the Samsung Odyssey. And I definitely like how the covers here don't actually pop off very easily when you're gripping them very hard, which is something that I had issues with on the Samsung Odyssey. So I would actually go far to say that these are more comfortable than the ones on the Odyssey, even though they are the standard controllers. And the only real issue that I had with this thing, the outer edges of the lens are a bit blurry and they can get distracting. But after five minutes of use, I kind of forgot about them and I was just simply immersed in the game. So uh, honestly, the, with the price point that you're getting this thing at, these are things that you shouldn't be even worrying about, especially if it's your first headset. It's an amazing deal. Definitely recommend getting this thing if you can get your hands on it in the US or Canada, or depending on where you live in the world, if you can get your hands on it on this price point, then you definitely go ahead and get it. Because overall, this headset has impressed me by a whole lot. But not only that, you can run it on low end systems, which is a big deal if you're someone who doesn't have a lot to spend. Anyways, guys, that is all for this short video. It's probably not too short. It's probably like 10 minutes plus. But either way, that is all for this video. I will test it out more and will have my full review very soon and compare it to other headsets, hopefully. And I'll get my hands on the HTC Vive Pro, which is now in pre-order and it's going to take forever to get here. And um, we're going to be trying out a bunch of headsets. But yeah, that's the update of this channel. I'm going to be coming back with more videos, more content, and hopefully a bigger variety. And yes, the pace reveal is coming up very soon. I'm working on the setup, working on the lights, working on the audio, pretty much trying to find the best setup. And that is actually the reason I haven't actually been uploading on this channel because I found it to be really boring to watch and I found it really boring to make because all the videos look the same and it doesn't make sense for me to make VR reviews when I'm not in the videos myself. Anyways guys, we'll see how that goes and uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next videos and I'll see you guys very soon. And yes, if you are wondering, we do have a Discord server, link will be in the description below. Anyways guys, that is all for this video. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe if you want like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Check out everyone.